Just waiting for it to go live, boys. It might already be live. I have no idea. Here we go. <laughs> What's up, everybody? It's Seth. Uh, I just wanted to go live because, to be completely honest with you guys, I didn't want to film a whole video. I know that's a terrible reason, but I figured it'd be kind of cool because I need to actually buy some sneakers for content for the upcoming week. So what I figured we could do together is you guys could help me decide what sneakers to buy. I've got some credit on GOAT, so I think I'm going to use that to, uh, to try and cop something, whether it's early, whether it's something that's already come out, whether, um, I don't know. I, don't, I have some ideas of what I want, but no um, concrete decisions have been made, so I figured it'd be fun to talk to you guys about that. What's up, Space? What's up, Living Hand? What's up, Units? What's up, Jake? Robin? Chad? Griffin? Garrett? Raj? K? Jeremy? What's good? Super Lemmy Bros? Michael? What's good? Yo, guys, it's good to talk to you guys. It's been, it's been, well, not that long. Actually, I did a stream on Wednesday. I'm really enjoying doing these streams on YouTube. I didn't really do them at all up until, I mean, I used to do like a, a podcast sort of thing two years ago, but um, I've really been enjoying doing them a lot more on YouTube. So I don't think I'm going to do them as regularly when everything gets kind of back to normal. I think maybe once every couple weeks, but I figured do them a lot while, you know, I'm trying to put out as much content as possible. What's up, Green the Color? What's up? Oh man, there's so many. Okay, um, Tony, Elijah, Jacob, Edward, Blake. Oh, yo, what's up, Blake? It's good to see you, man. Oh man, Daniel was good. Liam, Ahmed, Jesse, Julio. How are you guys doing? What's up, what's up, Trevor? Damn, there's a lot of you guys in here, guys. Thank you so much for tuning in. I appreciate it. Let me know in the comment section and in the, uh, I guess not the comment section, but in the chat or comment section if you're watching this after the fact, um, what sort of content you guys want to see. I'm going to keep bringing out regular videos um, unless you guys say something different. So let me know. But today, you're welcome for the Kanye, uh, content, Kanye. You're welcome for the content, Eunice. I appreciate you watching. Thank you so much. Um, like I said, you know, I'm just trying to put out some content so you guys have some, some stuff to watch to kind of take your mind off things. So that's the whole idea for it. Um, and honestly, it's been a lot of work, but it's been worth it. It really has been. It's been good to, uh, to connect with you guys more. Definitely. For sure. What's up, JP? How's it going? Uh, Trevor, Elijah. Oh man, I just, I can't read that fast. I'm sorry, guys. Aaron, that's not a subtle flex either. I'm being serious. That's not a douchey as hell. Okay. Um, Yola was good. Aaron, how's it going? Drew. So guys, I was saying the idea for this video today is just I have to buy some sneakers for content uh, for the upcoming week because to be honest, up until this point, I've had content to put out. Like I've had plans, I've had things to post, but because I've been posting every single day, I've run out of that content real quick, <laughs> really, really quick. So because of that, uh, I'm going to use um, some GOAT credit that I have from selling a pair of sneakers or two pairs of sneakers last week. Um, only one of the sneakers actually paid out though, which is kind of annoying. I think, I think they just have a smaller staff than usual. Um, so I'm going to use some goat credit and grab some stuff. So I, like I said, I have some ideas of what I might grab, but nothing, um, determined yet. I have 927 to spend. Now, to be honest with you, I probably should cash that out and use it for real bills and things like that. But <laughs> at the same time, you know, I need to make money. <laughs> so that I could pay more bills in the future. So by buying sneakers, technically it's a business expense. And if I make videos on it, then that'll help me make money. So 0203, thank you so much for the birthday wish. I appreciate it. Oh man, it's good to see you guys. All 649 of you guys. I appreciate you guys being here. So I just figured I would kind of take a look at what's selling on GOAT, what's selling on StockX even, because what I could do is cash out the credit and then, you know, buy something from somewhere else too. It doesn't have to be GOAT, but yeah, so the thought is um, maybe buying something early, maybe buying something that would be that you guys would like to see unboxed. I don't know. I really don't have too many plans. The only thing I really was thinking of possibly is the um, the dunks, the Syracuse dunks, because they're not too expensive right now. So do a face reveal. Oh man, <laughs> maybe one day, maybe one day you guys will see my face. Um, yeah, so I just I just kind of have sneaker news up. I've been looking through sneaker. Let me let me switch it to the uh, the website view. I just have sneakers, uh, sneaker news up. I've been looking through what sneakers are dropping, and a lot of these shoes I've already done reviews on, like the Air Jordan 1 High Court Purples, I've already reviewed, so I don't need to buy another pair of those. DMPs, I like them a lot, but I don't think it's it's worth the $300 right now. I feel like, I don't know, I just don't think they're a shoe that too many people, or as many people are as excited about, so I don't know if it's worth dropping the money on. Um, Jordan 1 Mid SE looks kind of cool. Not exactly my thing, but it's it's cool. What else we got coming out? We got the, the Air Jordan 4 Rastas coming out in women's sizes and the Fire Red 5s, which already, I mean, I already did a video on. If you guys haven't watched that, you should definitely check it out. Um, people weren't as interested in, in that shoe as I thought. Like, that video didn't do very well. I was kind of surprised. I thought that a lot of people were going to be hyped on it. Maybe it's because the shoe didn't drop and people weren't searching it as much as I thought that they would. 
But um, you never know. So let me pull up sneaker release date, see what else we got dropping. The Pradas, they were supposed to drop in March. I don't think they've dropped yet. I could be wrong. We've got um, the Freshwater Dunk Mids. Not something I really feel like I need. Or the, the Dawn Issue Ones. Don't need those either. Um, Ultra Boost coming out in the leather. Um, you've got some Night Joggers. I think the new... Um, I think the new Ninja Night Joggers are coming out soon. I'm actually dropping a Sitter Cell video tomorrow, which I haven't filmed or even researched for yet. So, uh, I gotta, <laughs> I gotta kind of um, prepare for that. So this is sort of a prep for that video, hopefully. So I'm just kind of looking through. Usually, what I do for Sitter Cell videos is I look through Sneaker News, I look through Kicks on Fire, I look through all the publications, and then I go to the actual brand websites. I go through Nike Sneakers, I go to Nike.com. I go to Adidas release dates, I go to Foot Locker release calendars, and just try and aggregate all the release dates. And sometimes Sneaker News or Kicks on Fire have stuff that aren't actually going to drop. And the way that you can figure that out is by going to places like Foot Locker's release calendars or a lot of people saying the Yeezy V3 Alva. Really? I mean, I can. I mean, I definitely can. Now, to be fair, the shoe is pretty much exactly the same as the other V3. <laughs> But hey, that's you know that's why I guess the Yeezy videos do so well because people really want to know about them. So I can do that. If you guys are really thinking the Alva, I realize it's one or two people spamming the same thing, but I can definitely actually let me check prices at the Alva. Let's go. Let's let's check out how much they're going for on Goat. If they're too too expensive, it's that's a no. But if they're like four or five hundred, still a lot. But at least that way it's more justifiable. This is the pair that I'm thinking about getting right now. The uh, the Syracuse Dunks. I like them a lot. A lot, a lot, a lot. And they're not too, too expensive. They're like $250, $300. Um, let's see if we can find these Yeezys. Yeezy. Yeezy, Yeezy. Alpha. They were supposed to drop forever ago, right? Like during All Star Weekend? $480. That's not bad. Let's see what this price is in my size. Oh. <laughs> $1,800. That's nuts. Wait, why are they so expensive in the larger sizes? What the hell? That's crazy. They don't even have instant ship. Why are they so expensive in the larger sizes? That's nuts. That's insane. I, I can't do I can't do I don't even have enough credit to do that, even if I wanted to. I guess you can get the size ten and a half with no box, but no. I like them, but not eighteen eighteen hundred dollars much, especially when they drop, they're gonna go for probably the same price as the standard V threes, which you're going for. Let me see. What are the standard V3s called? Azales? Azale. Azale. Here we go. Oh wow, they're kind of they're more expensive than I thought. I really thought they were going for less than this. Size 9, 6, 10. They're really going for that much? And I never even wear my pair. Melody is Shawnee's. I could check this out. Do you have any tips for copying in, can in Canada? I almost said Canadian. He said something about Canadian. I totally missed the comment. Oh shoot, I'm getting... Oh, man, I'm sorry I missed a donation. I'm so sorry about that. Let me catch it. Um, where is it, where is it, where is it? Dang. How did I miss it? Damn it. I'm really sorry for missing your donation. I am so sorry about that. I was getting, like, sucked in. Um, I'm so sorry, but thank you so much for donating. I really appreciate it. That, uh, appreciate it. The $3.50 is much appreciated. Um, if it was one donation for $3.50, I'm not totally sure. But I really appreciate the donation, uh, nonetheless. I'm so sorry I missed it. I'm just going back just to make sure. But no, I think I missed it. I'm sorry about that. Um, okay, so, yeah, so going back to what we were talking about, possibly getting early sneakers. I'm not totally sure. I wonder if there's a calendar I can use on um, price drop. Nah, that's what I'm looking for. A calendar I can use on GOAT. There isn't, but there is one on StockX, so let's check that out. The one thing I like about GOAT more than StockX is that they have instant ship. And I'm not like I'm not sponsored by either company, so I don't I'm not I don't have any bias. Um, full disclosure, I was sponsored by StockX two years ago, but that that only was I think a six month, and now that, that's over. Um, but I will say StockX I like because the prices are a little bit cheaper, but Goat I like because instant ship is the shit, and I can buy something and have it like next day almost. So if I bought something today, or if I say I bought something to, tomorrow at like before 11 a.m. Oh, Mogu Kaiser, thank you so much for the donation. Have you seen the Ben and Jerry SB Dunk Lows? I had, and we will definitely check those out in a minute, for sure. Those are crazy. Um, but Goat, if I need something for an early review, I'll pay the little bit extra and get the uh, get the instant ship so I can review them ASAP, Rocky. Damn, April 6th. I don't think these are dropping April 6th anymore. 
I really don't. <laughs> Let's see. Uh, what else we got? Mm. Damn, not much. Man, really, everything's kind of gotten pushed. To be fair, I think April would have been kind of dull anyway for sneakers, which kind of sucks, but um, I think it got real dull. We got the ones dropping. I kind of want to check out the KD13s, but it's not like I can play basketball and test them, which sucks. Uh, they're cool, though. Unfortunately, nowhere I know has them that I can get them before they actually drop. If I bought them on StockX, I'd probably get them after, but... Kipso, thank you so much for tuning in. Bro, go for some hype dunks. I'm definitely thinking about going for hype dunks. Like I said, I was thinking about going for the um, the Syracuse dunks. I was feeling those. Where are they at? Where are they at, though? Here they are. <laughs> okay, so in a size 9, I could get these for 245 And if I did instant ship, 265 That's great, actually. That's a really good price. Rafael Aquino, thank you so much for the donation. Tate86 still set as a Birkenstock review. Oh, man. Not to spoil anything for you, but stay tuned. Stay tuned. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, okay, so let's see. So these are definitely a possibility. These dunks are definitely a possibility. I kind of want to see. Someone said Skechers Energy Lights. Bob the Sheep says Skechers Energy Lights. Let's see those. I always spell Skechers wrong. Energy Lights. Oh, man. Let's see them. Energy lights. You can pick your lights. Charge them. Turn on that. You know, I'm not even mad at this, though, because they're finally trying something different. Let's see. Sketch it. I'm going to turn off. Okay, it sounds off. Oh, you guys can't even see the commercial. There we go. Kids. Energy lights. They probably don't come in my size. Seven colored, uh, seven solid colored lights, four multicolored modes, on and off switch, up to six hours. Yeah, kind of interesting though to be real. When do they come out? How do you get them? Are they sold out? Hmm. I don't know. Energy lights, Air Max Amsterdam. I do like those. Strange love, strange love dunks. We'll see how much those guys are going for. I do like the strange loves. I'm not trying to spend all the money, <laughs> but I will if I have to. Strange loves. They're going for a lot too. I think strange love dunk. Here we go. Five forty for the cheapest one. Size nine, five ninety. Instant ship nine hundred. What's it going for on goat? Let's see. Strange love. I should have put this on my um, collab list. I don't know why I didn't. I completely, completely forgot about them. Not that I don't like them. I just completely, completely forgot. So let's see. I'm trying to see if I miss any comments. I did not. Well, I see a lot of comments, but. Ethan says Nike Air Max Amsterdam. Max says Safari SB. That's a good one. Try to just buy like a bunch of SBs. It's like a big SB unboxing. Haha, <laughs> someone should make a Skechers pair with LV lever leather. That would be crazy from Kipso. Yeah, that would that would be nuts. Um, size 9, 5, basically the same price. A little bit cheaper. That's still a lot for some dunks. I do like dunks, but not as much as Jordan 1. Strawberry Cough Drop SBs. Let's see them on sneaker uh, news. I'm just going to call them Strawberry SBs. Let's see these boys. My internet's been super slow. Uh, there they are. Super slow recently. It's kind of annoying. I think it's because everyone else is on the internet right now. <laughs> um, Cactus 270s. That's a good call. Cactus 270s, unfortunately, though, are a little expensive at the moment. And there's none, really, that have a box. Jack. That's a pair that I really I already looked at. Um, shoot, I looked at. Um, I'll just type in Travis Scott. I looked at two days ago. To try and buy because I was I was going I was going to get them. I just wasn't even going to do a video and just get them, and then do a review on it. But unfortunately, Goat doesn't have any instant ship pairs, and the pairs that they do have are no box. Now StockX might have a pair, but it, it might take like two weeks, especially with people like not really being able to go to the store and stuff. They don't even have a size 9 on StockX. Jeez. Holy crap, the prices are expensive. I have a feeling these are getting pushed back. Because, well, then again, okay, so usually the way that you can tell if something is getting ready to release or not is because um, someone will have, like, some stores will get pairs and they'll start backdooring them, and that's when you'll see pairs start showing up on GOAT and stuff. But if there's no pairs really showing up, it means either that Nike or Adidas or whoever it is is keeping a really 
good luck on like the pairs that they have, and they're just not letting anyone back door them, or they haven't shipped them out to stores yet, or they're doing like a exclusive release on on sneakers or whatever, or uh, it's too far ahead of the release. You never know. So um, that's definitely a possibility. I think that in this case, there's two things that could be going on. One, the release got pushed, and we don't know yet. Or two, because all the stores are closed, no one's able to get back door pairs to sell. So I think it's one of the two. I wouldn't be surprised if it's both. I really think it could be both. So that's my thought. Um, you know, who knows? Let's, uh, what was it? I want to check Flight Club. Flight Club usually has some good stuff, although they are very expensive. But again, for the for review. So in that way, it's business expenses. I can justify it, sort of. <laughs> uh, price drops. Ooh, she got the chills. Um, oh, the purple lobsters are so sick. Do they even have pairs left? Or they do size nine? 865. I'm not paying 865 for those, as cool as they are. No way in hell. Um Oh, Travis Scott, let's try that. If anyone has them, Flight Club should have them. Then again, Flight Club is owned by GOAT or vice versa. I don't remember who owns who. But um If GOAT doesn't have them, then Flight Club probably doesn't have them either. Unfortunately, yeah, they don't. Yeah. Seth Fowler X, we are underdogs. It's coming out soon, guys. I actually, the to be completely honest, release date might actually be pushed up for a lot of reasons. The main is that the factory workers are, um, some of them are still working because they're trying to keep the factory afloat and a lot of other companies aren't able to produce sneakers right now. So they have a lot of, they actually have time to do it. So we might actually be able to push these up, which is great. So in a lot of ways, it's helping, um, helping the factory let people have to keep their jobs, which is great. And also it gets them out to you guys earlier. So I think it's a kind of a win-win, um, so huge thank you to them for that. So no guarantees, but it looks like it's possible that we might actually be able to get them sooner, which would be amazing. So, And pre-orders might end sooner than expected, too. So if you're trying to grab these, I should probably leave a link in the description, but possibility that they might actually be sold out sooner than we thought. Oh, I just missed one. Okay, here we go. Uh, Mark Davis, why are you acting like all Jordan 1s don't look the same, bro, then complain about the black V3s like the white V3s? How? When the black toes look like the bread toes. That's a good point. That is a great point, and I've struggled with that question a lot because a lot of people have mentioned that. And I think it all comes down to just my personal preference. Like, I just like Jordan 1s. It's my favorite shoe. So in that way, I'm going to like every single colorway. I don't love the Yeezys as much. I'm not as excited about them. So I think that there's, I think that's totally fair to say. And I think it all is just my personal preference. So I think, I think it's fair to call me a little bit hypocritical because I definitely am in that sense. 100%. Um, <laughs> it's just my own personal preference, you know. Uh, Bevan, thank you so much for the donation. And also, Mark Davis, thank you so much for the donation. I really appreciate that. Thank you for watching, too. Uh, Bevan jo uh, Johnson says, Jordan 1 Shadow Camo, most slept on sneaker ever. I have seen that shoe. It is definitely slept on. It is. Not my thing, but it's slept on for sure. Um, don't get Yeezys. Yeezy 350's Blue Oat. So let me see if there's any... Um, I eat feet, no cap. Got Skechers, Modern Joggers, better than Yeezy 100%. I did, actually. Thank you for the donation, by the way. <laughs> Your name's ridiculous, but thank you for the donation. I have actually copped them. I did a review on them too. If you want to check that out, uh, I forget what I called it, but if you type in, actually, let's see if let's see if it works. If you go to YouTube and then type in Seth Fowler Modern Jogger or Skechers Modern Jogger. I think it comes up. Fowler Skechers. A lot of stuff comes up if you type in Seth Fowler Skechers. Uh, I don't remember which one the Modern Jogger is. It's either this one or this one. I think it's this one. Is it this one? Possibly. A StockX commercial before it. Nice. <laughs> Checks over stripes, Kipso says. Let's see. Oh, the mother... Yo, what did you guys think of the motherboards that dropped? How'd you guys feel about those? I, um... I really wanted a pair to review. I didn't want to rock it because I feel like it looks kind of ridiculous. But, to be fair, I really wanted a pair to review because they look like... They look like the, uh... Adapts. Or not the Adapts. They're, they're, they are Adapts. I'm talking about the, uh... Air Mags. Where are these fools at? Where are they at? Here they are. And I thought I had them. I actually could have gotten them in a size 7, but what's the point? I would have just returned them in that case. And that would have, that would have been cool. I already returned so much stuff. But they look like that. Come on. Like, that's a little ridiculous. Like, that's weird as hell. <laughs> like, I, I don't know about that. I would love to try it, though, but not for $600. No way. Actually, you know what? I'll show you guys. No, I probably shouldn't. Never mind. Forget what I was. Forget anything I just said. Let's see um, how much they're going for on a uh, Nike. What are they called again? The Adapt, Adapt um, Microchip or whatever. Uh, board, motherboard. Damn, I forgot. 
Let me scroll back up in the chat. Um, motherboards. Is it motherboards? Just dropped. They'll be in just dropped, too. I don't think anyone has a pair yet because they haven't um, shipped yet. And no one, I don't think anyone backdoored them. There were pairs on GOAT before everything went down. Um, going for like six, seven hundred bucks, and I wasn't going to drop that kind of money for a shoe I didn't really want. Eunice, thank you so much for the donation. You said, just wanted to say I really appreciate the content lately. Thanks for keeping me busy. Also, shout out to the Birkenstock guy. Loves the Cox Enormous. <laughs> Jeez, I hate you. <laughs> You're the worst. Oh, man, you got me with that one. But thank you so much for the donation. I appreciate it. And yes, we will be doing a Birkenstock review in the near future. Maybe if we hit day 100. We'll see. We'll see what happens. Um... What else is dropping? I was looking for the motherboards. That's what it was. Let's see what they're going, what they're going for on StockX. They look like a modern kitchen. <laughs> Automax. That's what it is. Automax. Living Hand. Hi, please shout me out. Of course. Thank you so much for the donation. I appreciate that. Living Hand. I like your your, <laughs> your icon, too. It's literally Living Hand. Automax. Motherboard. There we go. There we go, brother. So the first pictures I saw of this were red. Like, the bottom was red. Um, five ninety five. That's not terrible. Not something I want to drop, though. For that. A shoe that I would never wear. Looks a lot like the... Um... Nice. Glad that was on stream for everyone to see. Um, <laughs> they look a lot like the uh, the mags. I don't know, if I had to choose between this one and the, the Mag Adapts, I would probably go for the Mag Adapts. To be fair, though, I don't really love either of them. I have my pair of Pure Platinums. That's the only pair I kept. I didn't keep the 2.0s. I don't know, I shouldn't... I never wear it, so I I just have it for the, the fact that I have an auto-lacing pair of shoes, but I've never... I just show it to people when they come over, like, family that's never heard of them before. That's that's all I do with them. It's kind of sad. Um, here, I wonder, is there, like, a below retail section on GOAT? Ooh, should we look at used sneakers? Should I get, like, a used grail? Maybe I can do, like, a used grail challenge, like, under a $1,000 challenge. It's a lot of money to drop on some shoes for, like, what's the word I'm looking for? Uh, imp impulsive. An impulse buy. It's a lot of money for an impulse purchase. Ziggy says, favorite Jordan silhouette other than the one. I think the threes. I think the threes. Thank you for the donation, by the way. I really appreciate that. That $5 is dope. Thank you so much. Um, yeah, I think the threes are the, the way that I, I'm leaning. Threes, elevens, I'll give you my, my list. So Jordan ones, it goes ones, threes, fours, elevens, and fives up there too. Ones, ones, threes, five, four, ones, threes, fours, fives, elevens. Yeah, that would be that would be the numbers. Um, and then everything else kind of like afterwards. I don't even I love the elevens, but I don't wear them that much. Ahmed says, Travis won Lowe's. Love you, man. You the real boss. Thank you so much, Ahmed. I really appreciate the donation too. Thank you so much. Let me see how much those uh, Travis Lowe's are going for. I caught those. That's a pair that I, I almost had. And then it the purchase failed on me. Which, guys, I found out why the purchase failed. I found out. I figured it out. So, oh, bespoke. Look at that. Nike SB Travis. That's sick. Um, well, that picture actually looks kind of crappy. But the shoe itself, I bet, is sick. Um, sold out. So I found out why. So what happened was my girlfriend has an account and I have an account. And because I've never purchased anything on my girlfriend's account other than using it for raffles, which I realized, yeah, okay, probably not the best thing to do, it got flagged as being a bot account. So I won on both the Off-White Fives and the Travis Scott Lowe's, both of which got denied because the, because it was flagged as a bot account, they considered it they considered it a, a false purchase, so they canceled it. So fair enough. <laughs> I probably shouldn't have been using two accounts. To be honest, though, I, it was my girlfriend's only account, and I, I only had my own account. Like, I... You know, fair enough, but now I know why. So I probably deserved it. Uh, Living Hand, thank you for the donation. Appreciate it. Owen says, hey, Seth, big fan. You see the Ben and Jerry dunks? I did, Owen. Let me pull those up. Thank you for the donation, by the way. Uh, ben and Jerry dunk. Got another donation here. Let's see. Mark Davis, I see your view. Count your favorite iconic Jordan brand doesn't do good with views, eh? <laughs> All your buys. It's true. It's true. Yeah, no, Jordans don't do as well as Yeezys. That's a fact. <laughs> I don't know why. I really don't. But it's what the people like. You know, they like their Yeezys. That's fair. Uh, ben and Jerry's. Thank you for the donation, by the way, man. I really appreciate that. Mark Davis, thank you. I don't know what the hell I was doing. I was like a piece, like, whatever. Uh, ben and Jerry dunks are dope. They're, they're, a lot, they're a lot to handle. They're very loud. 
Um, but I think, hey, that was the fun of having dunks. Like, dunks were the best because you they could just experiment with them and have fun with them, and they didn't care what they looked like. I mean, they cared what they looked like, but that was, that was the golden age of dunks back in, like, the mid-2000s when you could drop any colorway, and as long as the story was good and as long as it was wild, it would sell out. And it was the same thing with Jordans back in the early 2010s. Like, Jordans, you couldn't cop anything. They were all completely sold out, um, no matter what the colorway looked like. Uh, Living Hand, get this legend to 1 million subs. Thank you so much for the donation, man. I really appreciate it. And that'll be sick. One, when I get to a million subs, we're gonna do some crazy stuff, but it's gonna be a while. It's taking me a minute. Game Destroyers, thank you for the 99 cents. I appreciate that, man. Thank you. Um, yeah, so the whole idea, uh, with dunks is, I, I think, not the whole idea behind the dunk. The dunk is a skateboarding shoot, a basketball shoot, whatever. It doesn't matter. Um, but the collaborations were always fun. So I think it's cool that we're finally getting some really cool dunk collaborations again. Because I feel like there was kind of, when dunks weren't popular anymore, people, the collabs weren't as cool. You know, you'd get like kind of interesting colorways, but nothing like this. Like, this is nuts. It's insane, and I love it. Um, let's see. Heelys. <laughs> how was your day? Thank you, Keanu. I appreciate it. Oh, how was your birthday? It was great. It was really great. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. Game Royal 2020. Let's see those. Who wants to see the Game Royal 2020s? I could review those. So the shoes that I, I would love to get, but I don't think that I can, are the um, Travis 270s, because I think that they, unfortunately, just don't have sizes. Oh, shoot. Mark Criver, thank you so much. Favorite your shoe you own. Oh, favorite shoe I own. Ooh, that's good. Should I grab them? I'd have to go to the other room to grab them. I think the fa my favorite shoe that I own is... Let me just grab them. Hold on, you guys. I'll be right back. Give me a second. You guys are about to see me in shorts. It's going to look... Forget it. I'll be right back. Okay, so I realized... I realized the pair was actually over there on the other side of the studio, but I brought this one too. So my favorite pair is actually also something I designed when I was designing kitchenware. It's this French press. I don't know if you guys care or not, but <laughs> just thought I'd show you guys. My favorite pair that I have is my signed pair of off-white ones. Because not only is it a dope shoe, but the fact that Virgil signed it and I got to meet with him and talk to him about it. Like, Also, this shoe is the reason my channel, not. It, I don't think it's the reason it blew up. But this video like really, really helped help people find out about me, which is so sick. So this shoe means a lot to me for a lot of different reasons. Um, and Mark, thank you again for the donation. Um, but it's mainly because I, I just got a chance to talk to the man himself. He signed it. He signed Air Fowler, which is so sick. And uh, if you guys haven't seen that vlog yet, you should definitely check it out. They wouldn't let me film, unfortunately, but they gave us all little recorders. It was the Nike um, office hours event. So we got to record a conversation. So I put... Just a little part of it in the in the video, not the whole thing, and um, you guys can hear us talking. It's sick. It's so cool. Um, but that's my favorite pair, and then this another pair I really love. Probably my most expensive pair after that pair, but not not the reason I like it so much, but the way I got it was cool. I went to ComplexCon two years ago, and um, I was with Hess Kicks and Ari Kagan and some other people, and I won this for free. It was so crazy. The Tokyo Five is a shoe that was a grail, and I never thought I could get. So another shoe that I love that. Also, I got the, the off-white ones for retail because it was at the office hour event. It was The whole thing was nuts. But Mark, thank you so much for the donation. I really appreciate it. Thank you so much for watching all sort of good stuff. Thank you. Um, let's see. Oh, a <laughs> ASDF, 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 ASDF. I'm so confused. Is something dropping? LOL, sorry. Quarantine and working 12-hour days has my brain melting. Love you, bro. First of all, thank you for the donation. I appreciate that. Second of all, no, nothing's dropping. I'm just trying to uh, kind of fill time for you guys and for me. <laughs> So, what I was, what I'm talking about is, um, or what this, the idea behind this stream was. I have some credit on Goat from selling some shoes, and I need to come up with some content because by coming out with content every single day for the last 15 days, um, I've just run out of content. To be completely honest, I've got a sitter sale coming tomorrow, but after that, I don't know what the hell I'm gonna do. So, <laughs> I'm trying to buy some sneakers for an unboxing, for a review, for something. And usually, I would buy early sneakers so that we could get some cool early reviews from GOAT, but because none of the stores are open to backdoor pairs to people who sell on GOAT, um, it's gotten really tough. Like, for example, the shoes that we were talking about earlier that I wanted to grab for videos were the Travis Scott 270s, which there's no pairs 
um, in good for good prices. Uh, let me just pull them up again. It's got two seventies. There's no pairs for for good prices. I think the cheapest one is nine hundred. Um, let's see. Uh, yes, a nine ten with no none of them have boxes either except for the ten and a half, which I couldn't even wear. And then the Yeezy Yeezy um, seven hundred Alvas again, no boxes, all very expensive. And also the um, what was the other pair? I don't remember what the other pair was, but there was another pair. Let's see, uh, Mark Davis, you seen the blue? Oh, oh yeah, the Blorf, the Blorf three eighties. I think it's a must cop, especially for you since you complain about Yeezys being the same, so different. That's true. Thank you for the dude. You been, damn dude. Thank you so much for all the donations. I appreciate that. Yeah, no, they're wild. Let's see them. So I don't love the colorways together, but I think you're right. They're so different. It's like, <sighs> at least gotta get a pair to review. It's like the McChickens. <laughs> it's like the McChickens. It really is. Uh, they're wild. And so here's what I got to say about these, right? So I think the, oh man, I'm missing a lot. Hold on. Um, Peter, Peter Crow. Hey, my girlfriend, Des and I are big fans of your channel. Her birthday is coming up in a couple days. Would you mind giving her a shout? Absolutely. Peter, thank you for the donation too, by the way. I really appreciate that. Um, Des, happy birthday. Thank you so much for watching the channel. I really appreciate it. You're the best. Also, Peter's the man. <laughs> um, okay. So next we've got, oh, I just, shoot, I just lost it. Um, Raymart says, are you reviewing the reverse duck camos? If you guys really want, I will. If you guys want. Thank you for the donation, by the way. I really appreciate that. Um, I will if you guys want. Uh, the Blorfs. So these, this rendering looks awful, in my opinion. I just don't like the colors going together. But when you see the actual picture of the shoe in the factory, because the blue is a lot more toned down, it doesn't look as bad. And it's definitely a shoe that I'd want to grab specifically for a review because, like you said... I, I wasn't a huge fan of Yeezys for a while because of how similar they were, and they took a risk with this, and I appreciate when brands take a risk, so that's cool. I To be honest, the same way that we saw the Mists not selling out, I don't think these will sell out either, unless they become like a cult classic, like the McChickens did. You never know, so. It is what it is. It is what it is. Shanghai 97s. I, I missed who said that. Um, Jeremy. Uh, the Shanghai 97s are also dope. They are dope, but not something that, well, we'll see. I did actually go to Shanghai last year, maybe last, was it May? May or June, like almost a, almost a year at this point. No, they're not even that expensive anymore, let's see. Jacob, thank you so much, man, I really appreciate it. Thank you for the donation, and thank you for asking how I'm doing, I'm doing great. Thank you so much. Life is good, man. Life is good. Other than us all being stuck at home, life is good. But hey, it could be worse, it really could be. Um, Let's see. Size 9, 550, 565 is a lot. What are we doing? What, what are the used prices for this guy? Let's see. Use size 9, 670. Jeez, that's a lot. Um, did I miss any? No, I didn't. Shanghai Kaleidoscope. They're dope, though. PE Oregon 5s from Luca. Um, yeah, I don't have that kind of money, though. <laughs> I think I think the the most I the most I could spend is the credit I have in the account, which is nine twenty seven, and I'm not even trying to spend all of it, but I will if I get some good deals on sneakers. So what I should do, though, honestly, is go to is there like a sale? There's a price shop section. We can check this out. Maybe I could even do a giveaway for a pair. Not guaranteeing anything, but maybe I could. Let's see. So Syracuse is I'm thinking of Desert Sages. I already did a review on these, but that could be a cool giveaway. Do you plan on picking up the Stussy Spiridons from Juicy For Real? Thank you for the donation. And probably not. I'm not in love with them. Um, if you guys really wanted to see a review, I'd do it. But other than that, I'm not planning on it. No. Uh, BFF or BBF Shoes. Yo, Seth. Kim posted in-hand photos of the Blorf. Did she really? Yo, no way. Thank you for the donation, by the way, too. Did she really? Let's see if we can find those. Kim, I'm afraid what's going to come up if I type in Kim Kardashian Blorf. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, shit. Okay, let's see. Um, no, I don't see it yet. Okay, cool. Trolled Twitter selfie amid coronavirus. Uh, I don't know. It's the whole... I don't want to watch any videos because I don't want to get screwed. Um... No, okay. Well, cool. I'll check it out later. <laughs> have you seen the upcoming Game Royals? Yes, some people have been mentioning that shoe. So let me see if I can pull it up. Game Royal ones. What's annoying is that on the app, the GOAT app, there is a an actual... Um, there is a calendar, but I can't see it here. Here, I think I just got a donation too. 
Uh, Dard S says, apparently the blue Oat 380s have the MNVM lacing system. Also, did you see the sky blue 380s in the Oreo V2s? Thank you for the donation, by the way. Appreciate that. Let's look at these. I've never seen the blue Oat 380s. I have no I, People have been mentioning that, and I thought people were just mistyping, but apparently that's a thing. Blue Oat 380. The Blorf? Is it the Blorf? Might be the Blorf. Could be wrong. Um, also, have you seen the Sky Blue 380? The Sky Blue 380s were dope. I like those a lot. I really did like those a lot. I like the linens. The 350 linens. Those are fire. Um, the uh, uh, Alvas. People seem to be lo uh, love those. Got the Yeezy Bones. Uh, I'm interested. I'm really interested in the foam runners. I really want to try those out. Those are wild. The uh, Barium Yeezys. These are kind of cool. Uh, here's the Sky Blues. I like the Sky Blues a lot. The Oreo 2.0s, I didn't even know those were coming out. You guys are ahead of me on the Yeezy knowledge, for sure. Uh, let's see what else. Andrew, thank you so much for the um, for the donation. Cinder Re uh, Reflective Shock Drop, April 4th. Not that I know of, but you probably know better than I do. I'm not I'm, I'm not on top of my Yeezy knowledge, but that seems... Here are the Oreo V2s. That seems um, realistic. It does. That would be cool. I, that's the one thing I really missed about the Cinders, is that they didn't have the 3M on the side. I really like that, that feature. These don't look bad, actually. I kind of dig these. The Oreo V2s, kind of sick. Um, I guess this is just the basketball. No, what is this? Why is this one different? Is it blue? Not sure. Salt and Peppa. This is just just a photoshopped 380, and it looks exactly like a photoshopped 380. Um, sample colorway. Okay, interesting. The Shea Reflectives already got those. Those already came out. Okay, so let me see if I can find these these game royals. Let me go on the on the app really quick because I know they have a calendar on the app and I found them on the calendar on the app, but not. Gabe, thank you so much for the donation. When is the Sitter Cell video dropping? Tomorrow. Tomorrow. I have I actually have yet to film it. I'm doing a little bit of research as we as we talk. Here are the Stussy Spiridons. They're not bad. I just don't feel like I need them personally. Um, yeah, the video is dropping tomorrow. That should be a lot of fun. So I got to film it. Um, film it tomorrow. It's probably gonna post tomorrow around like four or five, just because. If I film early in the morning and then edit all day, I should have it out by like five or six. Hopefully four, but most likely five or six. Uh, that'll be tomorrow's video. And then moving forward, I don't really have anything else. <laughs> That's why I'm doing this. I need to I need to get some content. Um, so the Game Royals drop on, I'm on the calendar right now. They drop on right now, May 9th, these guys. That's the ones you guys are talking about. They drop on May 4th. There's a no box pair for 450 and a pair with a box in a size 11 for 550. Um, neither of which are instant ship, which is kind of disappointing, but it is what it is. Uh, Eunice, thank you so much again for the donation. Since your second channel is pretty much a tech channel, how about unboxing the foldable, fo foldable phone? I don't know how the video will do, but maybe it's worth a shot. I would love to try that phone. That phone is sick. It's expensive, though. And um, right now, I'm kind of just focusing on the main channel. But the, the second channel is, let me rephrase that. I uh, I don't want to drop $1,300 in the second channel just yet. Um, but it is a lot of fun. You guys should definitely check it out. There's a link at the top of the description. I would love to get that phone. Um, maybe if Samsung or Motorola wanted to hook it up, but they probably won't. If I can find a way to get it or maybe a friend's phone to try it out, I'd love to. But $1,300 is a lot. Unless I could maybe like return it or something. I don't know. But I do, I do really want to try that phone. The Samsung Z Flip is sick. Um, it's very, very fragile. The screen is, but I'd love to. I'd love to try it out. I, I tried out the Motorola Razor in the Verizon store like two months ago, and that was cool. Um, but again, very fragile. Uh, okay, let's see how much these um, the reverse duck camos are going for. Two hundred. Are there any instant chips now? Because no one's gotten their pairs yet. That's not bad. Two fifty. Not terrible. Yeezy Zion. When do those drop? Easy Zion. I kind of want to try a like a, a different kind of shoe. I kind of want to try something nuts. Oh, the Zions. Um, like I tried a pair of sneakers that had like they played music or something, which is crazy. Um, those were dope, but I don't know what happened. To, like the, it didn't do very well, so I thought uh, people I guess just weren't interested in it. But that was a fun video to do. Um, D guitar. Check out the Nike A Cold Wall F's. Definitely. Thank you for the donation, by the way. Um, I think I have actually seen those. Nike, a cold wall. Marcel Langevin. Um, 
Langevin, can we talk about the new undefeated Air Max 90s? Definitely. I'm going to pull up these uh, cold walls. Cold wall. Air Forces. Okay, let's just type in a cold wall. <laughs> they're the ones with the, uh, the weird thing coming off the back, right? Oh, no, they're these ones. The nice, simple, clean ones. I do like these. They're a little too plain for me, personally. I feel like they got rid of some of the details that make the shoe what it is. Like the Nike swoosh, I feel like that's a necessary panel because it just, I don't know, it looks a little plain this way, but I do like them. And they're cheap. They are cheap. Maybe I should try and buy like 10 different pairs for, <laughs> you could buy, you could definitely buy 10 different pairs for a thousand bucks. No problem. Uh, can we talk about the undefeated Air Max 90s? Okay, so how do you guys feel about those? I don't love them. I don't. I think the black one's fine, but the blue one, nah, I don't like it. Uh, I don't know what it is about it. I just don't like the colors, I think. Blue, oh, the blue Fury Dunks. Oh, I got the Fury God Converses. I do, I, they came in, and I just dropped an unboxing of them yesterday. They're actually dope. I really liked it. I wish I had gotten the black pair, but the gray pair is not bad. Still dig it. Still like it a lot, but I don't know. Um, here are the blue guys. Uh, okay, so the white one actually looks like the off-white Air Max 90s. Come to think of it. I didn't know there was a white pair, though. Here's the black pair. Pretty solid, just kind of plain. Blue pair. I don't have a problem with it. I just don't like it, personally. And then the white pair, again, I think the white pair might be the best out of all of them because it's kind of cool that you've got this color pop in the back. But the black pair is probably the most wearable. It's very simple and clean. What's the cheapest shoe you would buy? It depends on what shoe it is. I wish I had credit to the Nike um, Nike outlet section because that would be sick. Let's see. I wonder, can I add stuff to a cart? I don't think I can. I think I should get the Syracuse Dunks. Blue Fury Dunks. Let's see, if when do those drop? Don't they drop in like two or three weeks? I haven't actually reviewed a Dunk in a... Oh, is this the old, the, the pair from... Why is this so cheap? Did this pair already drop? Hold up. Hold up. Actually, I just go to StockX. I know nothing about Dunks. So, could have dropped today. I didn't. Shoot, I don't know. Uh, let's see. Blue Fury. Here we go. They dropped on. Well, there's no drop date. Hmm. They've been out for forever, though. Maybe. I don't know. I don't know anything about these dunks. I didn't even know about the Hennessy dunks until my friend did a review on them. <laughs> um, Hennessy dunks are also pretty okay. If you guys have ever seen SP Mitch, make sure to check him out. Uh, here we go. My bad. I'm missing some donations. Um, Eclectic Relaxation says, two vid ideas. Rank all off-white Nikes after the 10. That's a great idea, actually. Thank you for the donation and the idea. I'm going to screenshot that on my phone. That's a great idea. Baobax claims to have the most comfortable shoes from Eunice. Thank you again for the donation, man. You've been killing it. Um, Baobax. I've never even heard of them. I did a review on, uh, what was it? Um, that one shoe company that Obama wore that one time and all these like uh, Silicon Valley people wear. Um, what is it? Bur Allbirds. Allbirds. I did it. They actually reached out to do a sponsored video a year and a half ago and I was like, I don't want to do that. And then I was like, well, shoot. I'm definitely going to just try and buy a pair myself and give it like a honest look. Now these look very similar to the Allbirds. And I bet you they are very, very similar. Men's breezy laced. I don't like the way they look. I don't think many people who are sneakerheads would, but that's a good idea. I think if I run out of con or ideas, I think that's a coconut core midsole. What? Why? Merino wool liner, yeah, that makes sense. Latex insole, okay, yeah. Bamboo upper. They're very, they're almost identical to the um to the Allbirds. At least everything except for the ba I've never heard of bamboo in a midsole, but everything else, the um oh sorry, coconut. Uh, the natural latex, the merino wool liner, yep, the bamboo upper. That all that all sounds just like the Allbirds. Um Get the Offspring Converse. Offspring Converse, I haven't seen those actually. Review the New Balance 990. <laughs> Hi, Perry. I think you've been spamming that. Fun guy. Converse Chuck 70 Midnight Studios from 2018. That's a cool idea. Thank you for the donation, by the way. Uh, why is my internet so trash right now? It's 
ridiculous. Okay. Um, should I just do like how many dunks can I buy for a thousand dollars? Oh, there's so many like cheap pairs of dunks from years ago that you could buy. You could probably buy. You could probably buy at least eight pairs, seven, eight pairs of dunks and decent dunks for a thousand. Brand new from Goat. I'm sure. I'm sure. Why is this internet so crappy? This is crazy. Are you guys still getting a good connection? Web page is slowing down your browser. Okay, well, I guess we're going to close that. I'll trust that. I'll trust you. <laughs> okay, so let's see what else we got. Air Max 1 London Amsterdam. They are dope, for sure. For sure, for sure. I don't feel like I need them, necessarily. Maybe, okay, let's see. I wish I could just add stuff to cart. That's so frustrating that I can't. So I had the pair of the Air Jordan 3 UNCs. I ended up selling them to my friend Oliver um, instead of keeping them, which I should have kept them. And I ended up oh, getting them really late. Another, I should have. They are dope. I kind of want to grab another pair. 250 is not even bad either. Buy the Steve Jobs New Balance. There's a Steve Jobs New Balance? Ooh, you know what? You know what I could do? I could... What else we got? I'm, I'm just trying to think of like... Ideas that can make cool videos, but I'm having trouble. Uh, uh, man, I've just reviewed a lot of these shoes, too. Off-White 4s. Those are going to be cool. I'm excited about those. Um, I could do S Revenge Storms. I could, do, I could do those. Thank you, Kanjo. I appreciate it. Safari Dunks. Okay, how much are they going for? Now, a lot of people have already done reviews on Safari Dunks, I think. Let's see, do they have any instant ship pairs? They do not. Oh, they do. 380s. It's a bit, but will Adidas release an Ultra Boost 5.0? I don't think so. I think the 20 and the... I think the 2019 was the 5.0. Spar dunks aren't bad. Seth, you should review apparel like Off-White and Bape and Gucci. Possibly. Send help dunks. Golf Lafleur's 2020 Flint 13. Supreme Air Force. What's dropping? Nothing's really dropping today, but I'm just trying to, you know, find out sneakers to give you guys some videos. That's the whole point of this video. Just wanted to chat to you guys, see what was up. Guys, if you want to check out some more content that's not secret content that I do, make sure to check out my second channel, which is linked in the top of the description. I just mainly unbox tech and like other random stuff. With Amazon kind of slowing down, it makes it harder to get stuff in because Amazon's only really delivering essentials. So unless you guys want some grocery reviews, I did. You know what's funny? I actually thought about doing a Amazon um, uh, fresh like unboxing like of groceries. It was funny before it was like a necessity. Now it's actually something I have to like do on a regular basis. Um, I can do the Easy Earths. I never got them. Not as bad as I as I originally was thinking that they were. They're actually pretty pretty clean, but I just don't feel like I need to drop the money. Travis Scott's have gotten cheaper. Everything's kind of dropped in price because of everything that's going on. People just aren't spending money on sneakers, and because of that, prices have dropped. Like the Travis Scott Air Force Ones, these are dope. And 517 is not a terrible price. I don't need them for that price, but they are dope. Um, what else we got? Off-white dunks. I already have the green pairs. What are they going for in goat, the red pairs? Maybe I should just, I don't know. Like dunks are popping right now, but does anyone say pop? I'm like almost 30. Like I feel like I'm not, shouldn't be saying stuff like popping. <laughs> White dunk. I'm not 37 like Tom was saying. I'm 28. Just to clear the air. <laughs> Um, here we go. Four seventy is not four four eighty is not bad. Why is five fifty for instant ship? That's still a lot. I paid thirteen fifty for my green pair from Stadium Goods. I'm a mess, man. It's ridiculous. Um, StockX shipping fee is too expensive. Fair enough. Compare Vans and Revenge Storms. That's a cool idea. That's actually a cool idea. Do you have a job aside from YouTube? I used to be a designer. I used to be an industrial designer. I worked at a kitchenware place, which actually. I was showing you guys earlier this French press that I designed and made. Um, I actually I keep it in my office because I made it. It's kind of cool. I have a, a couple different sizes of these. I made that, and then I worked at um, I was at Martha Stewart for a while. I was doing dog toys at BarkBox for a while. That was actually the job that I was at before I did YouTube full time. They did layoffs, and I got laid off. And uh, then I was like, well, screw it. If I'm going to do YouTube full time, this is the time. And by doing YouTube full time, things just took off. Like I think at that point I was at like a hundred thousand subscribers. And within that, it had taken me two years to get to that point. And then um, after that, like I was at probably 250, 300 by the end of the year. So it doubled. Off-white Vapor Max. You know what? I don't like Vapor Maxes that much, Jeremy. Appreciate the suggestion. I'm just not a huge Vapor Max guy. 
Do a lifestyle review for the PG4s. Mm, I don't know about that. I don't know about that. Malik Washington, thank you for the donation. I really appreciate that. Budget sneaker collection vid if you have 1,000. That's a cool idea. That is a cool idea. Real cool idea. Is there a budget section on Goat's website? Maybe I could do that and then give away a pair or two. Let's see. Well, this is price drops. But to be fair, they're, none of them are really cheap. Now let's go to uh, StockX's below retail. Another thing, too, is I don't really need a lot of new shoes. <laughs> I have way too many. But I could do some giveaways. Are you from Baltimore? Yes, I am from Randallstown, actually, but still in Baltimore County. Ravens, let's go. I grew up in Baltimore until I was 18, and then I went to Philly for college, and then I went to New York for work, and then came back to Philly. Been all over. Devin Wright, do a vid on Dunks, writing video on Off-Whites. Dunks, writing video on off Um Thank you for the donation, by the way, Devin. appreciate that. What do you mean, do a video on Dunks, writing video on Off-Whites? Do you mean, like, the Off-White Dunks? Or do you mean maybe do a video on Dunks and a video on Off-Whites? Let me know. Let me know. Let me know. Um... Oh, so, so under retail. Let's do under retail, size 9. Below retail, size 9. That'll cut some things down. Yeah, it did. Um, below retail, size 9, men. Here we go. StockX is the move. Below retail, there we go. Wow, there's a lot of good stuff. The vintage blazers are sick. I really like that. Now, the problem is, is like this would be a great sponsor video. If anyone from StockX or Goat is watching, let me know. <laughs> this would be a great sponsor video. Um, the Blazers are dope. I'd probably grab those because they're 87 bucks. That's a great price. Ultra Boost 4.0 is in white. Great price. Probably wouldn't cop it. There's a lot of Yeezys below retail. Um, like the Mists below retail? That's crazy. I'm blown away that they sat so long. The 13 T got games are sick. I do like the Air Max 2 Atmoses. Those are awesome. Surprise, these went down below retail. These were going for a lot before, but they are... They're not that great of a shoe. They crease like a... Like a Sorry. Uh -huh. um, <laughs> what else we got? Uh, Pharrell's actually got a pair of those. Uh, Adidas gifted me those. Thank you, Adidas. Mm, oh, the Game of Thrones pair is below retail now. Huh. Okay. Got some Pharrell's. Got, ooh, the Just On Beaches. I had these for a minute. I love these. this pair. I wish it didn't come with that stupid box. It's like a 14-pound box. The Emilion Doors New Balances are sick. Those are really sick. I love this pink pair. No, the Arctic orange pair. I love it. They don't have a size. Huh. Oh, I guess because they only come out in women's, right? Hey, Seth, check out the Nike P900 White University Red. I definitely will. Um, Emerald Falcon, thank you so much. Do a shoe uh, design live stream just for fun. I did actually do one in the past. That's a good call. I actually, I'm going to put that in. Um, I'm gonna. You got me on that one. I don't know why I'm not doing it. I used to do that all the time, and then I designed the sneaker, and then I stopped. So let me put that in the... Uh, so what's the day that I could do that? Well, I just did a live stream today, so I probably won't do it right off the bat. Maybe, maybe April third. That's a good call, though. Shoe design live stream, doing that. I did that on Twitch all the time, and then I stopped for some reason. But that's such a good call. Thank you so much, Emerald Falcon. You nailed it, bro. Nailed it. So stay tuned for that because that's definitely happening. I just have to set up the Wacom tablet. I definitely have to do that. Or I wonder if I can get my iPad to set up. I don't know. The Ultra Boost Undefeateds are sick. I really like those a lot. There's some really good stuff below retail, honestly. You got the Lakers. Oh, the Air Jordan 1 Pine Green Lows. Those are clean. Only $79. Bucks. Um, React Element, $87. So it used to be $200. Bucks. To as T on deck, Nike book dunks. Nike book dunks. How do I not know about those? I don't know what those are. Are those real? Probably something like an idiot to dunk heads. I'm not a dunk head. Book dunk. Notebook. Oh, the notebook dunks. Is that the one you're talking about? <laughs> those are interesting. I like those a lot. You know what dunk I always wanted? And I got, but not in my size. Thank you, by the way, for the donation, too. Ooh, maybe that's the move. Maybe that's what I'll do. Not the Tiffany dunks because I can't afford those, but the Tiffany highs. The Tiffany highs. That was a pair I had in size ten. It didn't fit. I got lucky. That was my first like really big purchase on the Nike, um, on the uh, on Nike.com. 
Damn, they went up. Why are they so expensive? I sold my pair for 200 bucks. Damn, it sucks. Um, size 9. 350. Damn, it's still expensive. Why are you so expensive, bro? Damn. That sucks. I really like these. A lot. I did a bunch. Back when I used to customize sneakers, I did a bunch of custom Roshis, like the Tiffany Dunks. Jonathan Valerio, thank you so much for the do uh, donation. I really appreciate it. My wife just got me the Yeezy Cinder from NYC. Dope. That's awesome. That's The Yeezy Cinders are solid. That's so, so you gotta, you're lucky, man. You got a good wife. Shout out to Jonathan's wife. Shout out to Jonathan for the donation. I appreciate that. Got another one in. It's, uh, it's from Hot Boys. Hey, Seth, you're a huge inspiration to me as you helped me start my sneakerhead journey. For a vid, you should try and do a custom paint job on shoes. I could do that. I could do that. Thank you so much for the donation, by the way. I really appreciate that, Hot Boys. Hot Boys. Um, if you go really far back on my Instagram, you'll see some of my custom work. Let me see if I can find... What was the name of the group? Soul... Oh, man. Let me just type in Fowler Custom and see what comes up. I was with a, a customizer group. Wow, Fowler Custom Studio Tour. Wow, yikes. Okay, custom shoes. So FowlerDesign.com. These are some, this is old, and they weren't that great. So this is, oh, this is a pair that I did for, oh, we can go through my old custom, sick. So this is a pair, this used to be the Cool Gray Nines, and I did this pair for Michael Carter Williams. Um, this is what it looked like before, and this is what it looked like after. I even did laser etched wood and stuff. I thought that was sick. Now, I don't know how long it lasted, because, I mean, I don't know how long any custom will last, but this is a pair of, like, Starry Night 6s that I did. This is a pair of... Oops. This is actually the first custom I did for someone. I did a pair of um, uh, Scooby-Doo like, fives for this guy's kids. A uh, pair of floral Roshis, back when Roshis were big. A pair of like Flamingo Roshis for some reason. And then I don't know where the Supreme uh, TMNTs. There was a pair of Supreme um, fives that I did that I really liked. But I guess I didn't post them. What was the name of that group that I worked with? Because they posted a ton of pictures of them. Let's do Supreme... Air Jordan 5 Custom. I was the first one to do them. And I thought they came out sick. Where were they? So this custom was based off my custom, I think. Where I based... Where is it? Damn, they were so sick. Not the two-mile horn or anything, but they were. <laughs> Damn. What was the name of that group? Soul what? Oh, man. I don't want to go all the way back on my Instagram. Well, if you want to, you can. Um, but, man, custom days were fun. Off-White Crux. To all you guys in the chat, thank you so much for being here. I appreciate you guys. You guys are the best. Also, the 1,370 of you. Thank you so much. 1,381 of you guys. Thank you so much. Make sure to hit that like button. Wyatt Russell, thank you so much for the donation. I really appreciate that. Yeah, you guys are keeping me sane over this last... It'll be... The end of this week will be the end of the... Well, I've been home for three weeks now, but it'll be the fourth week for me. It'll be the third week for my fiance. She's been working from home. Uh, Marty McFly Dunks can send you my pair in a size nine. Thank you, fun guy. First of all, thank you for the donation. Second of all, I did actually get a pair of those back when they first dropped. I don't remember if I did a review or, or not. I don't think I did. Um, but I did have, the, have those for a while. You don't have to send me your pair, though. I appreciate it. But they are cool. They are cool. Um, what else we got? Going through the below retail. I really like the Habaneros. These are sick. $4 below retail. These are sick. I really like those. By the way, not too keen on the Fog Converse. I think Converse collabs should be wild. They're not. To be fair, you're right. Like it's a very similar to a standard Converse. <laughs> like it looks like a gray pair of Converse. The only thing that would tip you off is the lacing wrapping around the outside, which you could do on your own anyway. But they have a little loop here to help with that, and also the uh, sort of contrasting color tongue. Like this is a leather tongue or faux leather tongue. Then you've also got this really glossy side. I wish I had gotten a black pair, but this. The more that I've I've had the the gray pair, I I like it. But I do kind of, still kind of butthurt about the black pair. Um, let's see. Evan Gibbons, thank you so much for the donation. I really appreciate that. I think the purple throws people off on the undefeated 90s. White tee and clean cargo jeans, you straight. 90s do the rest, but respect your style and opinion. Well, I respect your style and opinion, Evan. Thank you for the donation, by the way. And I think you're right. No, like I was saying, like there, there's nothing wrong with the shoe at all. I just, 
I can't pull off. Like, there's certain things that I know I can't pull off, and that's one of those shoes that I don't think I can. I bet you with a white tee and some cargos, I, I mean, it would look okay on me, but, dude, I'm going to be honest. I'm skinny and, and tall and nerdy, man. Like, I can't pull off a lot of stuff. <laughs> Evan, thank you again. Oh, thank you for the second donation, man. I appreciate it. Seriously, thank you so much. And, I, I, dude, I agree with you, man. I think with the right look, a lot of people can pull it off. I'm just not one of those people. I got a unique, unique look. <laughs> And then I'm about as pale as you can get, very skinny, and pretty dorky. So you got that going on. <laughs> uh, we'll see what else we got. So there's a lot of Pharrells on sale. You got some Converse, Chuck Taylor, um, Comme des Garçons. You got these 3M6s, which I never liked. Uh, the New Balance, the New Balance 990 V5, pretty cool. Kobe's, you got the Kobe NXTs. Um... Did I miss any more donations? I don't think so, right? No, I don't think so. Let's go back down. There we go. What else we got? Nike Presto Black Phantoms. Those are pretty sick. 110. Fear of God Mox. Not a huge fan of those. Ooh, you got the Puma Thunder Spectres. I love that shoe. I still wear it all the time. Uh, Solar Yellows on sale for cheap. More Blazers. Looking good. Nike Air Max 90 Smoke Gray Slides. I have never seen these before. What the hell are these? <laughs> Retail price was $75. Yikes. What's your least favorite designer sneaker? Oh, there's a bunch. Um, probably those Margellas. that look like they were hot glued together. I don't like those at all. <laughs> Jonathan Hack says, I've never had a pair of Yeezys. Would you recommend the 380 Miss as a solid first pair? Definitely. Very comfortable. Aesthetically, I don't think as many people like it as the 350s, but I think it's probably the most comfortable pair of Yeezys I own. Other than maybe, well, the 500s are comfy and the 700s are comfy. 700 V1s and V2s. I, I think it's worth it, honestly. Especially now that it's, like, retail or just below. I think it's time to grab it because I think they will go up eventually. Not that much, but a little bit. Also, thank you for the donation, by the way. I really appreciate that, Jonathan. Thank you. CPF, <laughs> Owen's been hyping up the CPF, uh, Cactus Plant Flea Market... Um, what were they now? now they, I've, you've said them so many times I just forget. Um, Cactus Plant Flea Market, what? Uh, blazers. Blazers, Blazers, Blazers. Yeah, they're pricey, aren't they? Or they were when they... Okay, I think I might actually have to type in Cactus Plant Flea Market. Let's type in Cactus Plant. Here they are. Blazers by you. Mm, they're all right. You definitely want to get a pair that... I mean, they're all right. I think I'd go for something like this. This one. Too bad it's a size 8. That wouldn't fit. It wouldn't fit me, bro. Bro. Let's see. Basement Glasgow's. <laughs> Cinder Reflective next weekend. That's what someone was saying. I don't know if that's true or not. I know I'm very, very behind on the Yeezy. Excuse me, releases. Mainly because for a lot of like the Jordans that I'm really looking forward to, also Jordans get leaked. That's not true. Yeezys and Jordans get leaked pretty far in advance. Um, Natsu, thank you for the two euro. Google Red Agassi Dunks. Tell me what you think. Agassi. Agassi. Like Andre Agassi? These guys, the red metallic platinums, or am I missing? Let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Or these boys. These are pretty cool. Oh, tennis, yeah, it's these guys. The Agassi Dunks. They're cool. They're cool. I like them a lot. I do like them. Precise V2 says, Hey, Seth, what are your opinions on the Ben & Jerry SB Dunks? Also, I have the Fossil Stussy Spirit on Size 9 if you're interested in review. Thank you so much, first of all, for the donation. I really appreciate that. It means the world to me. Thank you so much. Um... I think I'm good on the Spiridons. We talked about them a little bit earlier. I'm not the biggest fan personally, and so I'd be afraid if I did a review. Like, I mean, I'd be, I'd be on it. I'd be, I'd be unbiased about it. But I still, I don't know. Um, let me see. But thank you for the offer. I really appreciate that. Now, the other thing you said was the, the oh, the um, the Ben and Jerry Stunks. We looked at these a little bit earlier. Let me see again. I like them. I think they're crazy, and that's what I was saying earlier. That I, that's what I like about Dunks. 
that they were back in the early mid 2000s that's what made dunk so popular because people weren't afraid to experiment with them and this is like a crazy looking dunk like it's it's nuts and i think it's a pair of dunks that uh some bird just like flew right past my window um it's one of those dunks that looks like wild it's got like and a faux animal fur on it you've got like a dripping nike swoosh it's crazy and it's a pair that i'd love to have just because it's wild um summer 2020 i don't know there's no date on them yet and i bet you there's no pairs especially since they've just um just been leaked yeah no pairs nike sb blazer mid edge grateful dead bear dogs those are sick um better than travis scott better than travis scott mm. I think so, personally. Wyatt Russell, thank you for the donation. Hi, Seth. It was just my birthday, and I wanted to thank you for being my inspiration for my collection. First of all, Wyatt, happy birthday. That's awesome. Second of all, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate that. We share. We have pretty similar birthdays. Mine was Air Max Day. Uh, Zumon Zylon says, maybe a vid on the Nike React 55 NFLS. Let's see what that is. Thank you for the donation, by the way. Zimon Zilas, or Zimon Zylon. Uh, Nike React 55 NFLS. Oh, the NFL pack? Is that what you meant? NFLs? Oh, you meant probably meant NFLs. Do they have a Ravens one? They don't have a Ravens, Ravens one, do they? Damn it. <laughs> now I had some friends who wanted the Eagles one. Is it sold out? I bet it's on sale. They only have the Falcons and the Broncos. That's okay. Damn, I wish I had a Ravens one. Oh, that's cool the way that the Broncos logo comes out on the side with uh, 3M. That's actually sick. That's really cool. Do they do that with the Falcons? No. That's cool that each pair is so different. Oh, yeah. Yeah, they do right there. Um, should I cop the Yeezy Zions? I've never had a Yeezy. If you want, but it's going to be a minute. Is there really a Vapor Max 2020? I know that there's one coming, but I don't think it's out yet. Vapor Max 2020. Oh yeah, these ones, these boys. Now I like the crazy multicolor one. Now this is a shoe that I definitely want to review because it's different. They've changed up almost everything about it. This is especially the air units. I think that's a big, that's a welcome improvement. When do these drop? This is the pair that I definitely will grab to review for sure. Um, but no info on drops yet. How are the Court Purple Air AJ1s? They're great, man. Love them. Barely gotten to wear them, though. I'll like, take, take the dog for a walk. I've been wearing the Air Jordan 5 um, Fire Reds while I take the dog for walks. Uh, what else we got? Okay, so maybe I should just cop some things. Maybe I should just go ahead and just cop some stuff. So, I'm thinking these boys, Syracuse's, because I think they're dope. Um, I don't know. I kind of want to try a pair of Foggers again. Fear God ones. Like a cheap repair that I'm not afraid to screw up. Uh, is the oatmeal legit? Oatmeal is dope. I actually really like the oatmeal. But again, I don't know if I can rock it. 925 is the instant shit price. Get out of here. Get out of town with that. Best full black sneakers in your opinion. Oh, there's a lot of good full black sneakers. I, if you're working, I might go for the uh, Ultra Boost, to be honest with you. Mm, there is a pair of Fear of God All Black coming out at some point. Not yet, though. Um, Devin Wright, again, thank you so much. Do a video on purchasing old Nike SBs like the De La Souls. The De La Souls are sick. I'll just type in Dunk. SB Dunk. SB Dunk. Now, see, the problem is, like, I'm not a Dunk guy, so I'd, like, I'd sound like an idiot, <laughs> to be honest with you. But maybe I could do, like, a live chat with someone who's an actual Dunk head. Hunter Moore, thank you so much for the donation. This is random, but I just want to say LeBron 15s are underrated for lifestyle wear. You got me into collecting. Thank you so much, too. Thank you, you, so much. <laughs> also, thank you for the donation. Thank you for watching, man. It's people like you that support the channel. I really appreciate it. LeBron 15s. So let's pull these up. They are the, the what are they called? Battle Knit ones? LeBron 15. Battle Knit boys. Dench, Dench IE says, how are your off-white Jordan 1 Chicago's doing? They're doing good. I just actually, it's funny they brought them up. I talked about them earlier. It's probably my favorite pair in my collection because they're the signed pair from Virgil. So keep them in that box. Thank you for the donation, by the way. Um, Natsu says, have you ever been to the Netherlands? I have not. I would love to go. As soon as all this ends, this craziness ends, I really am. I'm planning to go back to Portugal to check on some shoes and, uh, and then probably try and take a little tour around Europe if I can. I'd love to. 
I'd love to go back to Paris. I'd love to go to the Netherlands. I'd love to go to Germany. I'd love to go to Spain. Yeah, the 15s are pretty cool. I did. I really like the the Kith 15s. That's pretty funny that they had the Air Easy ones. This is from last year. Um, wow, William, thank you so much. Holy crap! Thank you for the donation. That's crazy. Thank you so much, William. Karen Gellin. William Karen Gellin says, Seth, been collecting since 1985. Wow, so you, you're truly an OG. Refreshing to meet someone in today's society who views kicks as a transient, uh, transient art. Fingers crossed for Dave's quality meets AM 90s to release. Wishing you and your fiance health. First of all, thank you so much for that donation. That's unbelievably generous. I really, really appreciate that. Um, thank you so much for watching. And it's really cool to, to actually meet someone who's an OG who likes what I do. Like, a lot of OGs don't, aren't a huge fan of what I'm doing because I'm a newer head, you know? I'm 28, so I'm not, like, I'm not, like, a kid, but at the same time, I didn't start when, when you guys started, so I really, really appreciate that. That means the world to me. Um, now, I'm not too familiar with the Dave's Quality Meets AM 90s. Let's look those up. Um, Dave's Quality Meets AM 90s. Quality Meets. That's just a place. <laughs> Air Max 90s. There we go. That's what that means. I always wondered what the DQM meant. Yo, these are pretty dope. Are these so these never actually released based on what you're saying, I'm assuming. Um number of sales two. Wow, they sold for a lot. This is actually a super dope colorway. I get the meat inspiration. Speaking of meat, <laughs> um, I really like the one of my favorite collabs of this year is the New Balance Um 992 uh Joe Fresh Goods, the DVMs, the Don't Be Mads. Um, this is, and this is based on a heart. So the colorway is similar, um, but I love this shoe. Like genuinely, I think this is one of my favorite sneakers in my collection. I never thought I would say that, especially when I got in the mail. And I didn't, I, something was from, in from New Balance. And I knew they were doing it. They've been doing a great job recently, but I just didn't know what to expect. I opened it up and I was like, ah, it's pretty fresh. And then I threw them on feet and that's where everything changed. When I actually threw these on feet, I was like, these look amazing. So this is one of my favorite shoes. And it reminds me a lot of the DQMs. Thank you again for that donation. That's wild. Thank you so much, William. I appreciate that. Uh, Nitra Thunder says, Nitra at Thunder says, do you like the Paranike collaborations? I do. Those Paranike dunks are sick. That's actually a good call. I bet they're going for a crap load too. Um, I wonder if they'll be on this page. Okay, so let's look at some dunks. Maybe I should just go for dunks. Maybe that's the move. Maybe that's how many dunks can I buy for $1,000? God, that's so much money to spend on dunks, dude. Ugh. I love the Dunk, Dunk Low orange boxes. They look a lot like the uh, Syracuse. What? I didn't click on that dunk. Get out of here. Craziness. Uh, just make sure I didn't miss anything else. Okay, good. Um, this is when I meant to click on the orange box. 270. Oh, I don't have a size 9. Damn, they have size 9.5 though for 340. That's pretty good. Um, Jedi Dunks are sync. I saw someone say that. Thoughts on Kobe 4. Uh, I hope those come out, honestly. I hope they, they drop those Kobe 4s they're planning on dropping. Um, let's see what else we got. Tanoke Villa, thank you so much for the donation. You should review a reshaped Air Max 90 that have been dropping recently. The DQM have released long ago, but there were rumors they might retro. Oh, thank you for that. I really appreciate that. That helps a lot. Um, sorry, I've got a, <clears throat> got a burp. <laughs> now, the reshaped Air Max 90s. Now, those are the ones... Are those... Are those the ones that just dropped? So I actually have a pair of the OGs, not the, the 2015 infrareds that I've worn to the ground at this point. Uh, now this is not the reshaped one, I'm assuming, but are the new ones that have dropped, like the ones, like, I don't know, so the Royals, are those the reshaped ones? I'm a little confused, because I would I'm definitely buy a pair of these. These are fresh as hell. These or even the neons are sick. I love these. Um, I probably shouldn't touch this to my face, because worn that all over the place like Malaysia and stuff <laughs> it's got dirt from everywhere on it um these are are these the reshaped ones I can't tell they're probably right thank you so much for the donation by the way and clearing that up too that means that, that's really helpful <laughs> that's really helpful um okay so I should just make some some decisions right now I should just go for it on some of these uh so why don't we do I actually have some supreme dunks while we're talking about it, the Supreme Red uh, Cements from 2012. Got super lucky with these. Got a great deal from somebody at SneakerCon DC, I think. Love this pair. It's a sick pair of sneakers. Um, watching from Norway. Great content. Thank you so much, Mikkel. I appreciate it. 
Um, I had a boss called Mikkel. Let's see. For like years too, actually. He's a great guy. J Crew New Balance 998. I remember those. Okay, let's see. I'm just going off looks, to be honest with you, because I don't know a huge amount about dunks. Um, I always wanted to review these like sock dunks because they were wild. Um, what else? Hmm. I don't like the ugly Christmas sweaters. I get them, but I just don't like them. Uh, I had the the black sheep dunks for a minute. I did. I like the the ray guns. I like the white ones. I just think the color blocking looks nicer, but I'm not going to pay the extra money for them, I don't think. Um, what else? Slickback MN, thank you so much. Uh, so excited for your shoes, the origins. Much love from Uganda. Thank you so much for watching Uganda. That's wild. Thank you so much. The good news about the origins is that we now have size 12 and size 13. So if you weren't able to cop them before, you should be able to cop them now. Um, this is not the final final, but it's very, very close to the final final. We've pretty much cleaned up all the, the weirdness about it. And um, I think it looks great. Uh, the good news is, is that production might actually be sped up to where you might get them before May. Don't, don't quote me on that. Um, but hopefully sooner than later and pre-orders might end soon because if we're going to produce them before May. We're going to cut off pre-orders and just produce the amount. We might actually produce some extra ones and sell them like non-pre-orders, but we'll see what happens. Um, let's see. Oh, the fade to blacks, the fade to black four and the fade to black 11. I had the fade to black. I did a video on them too, actually way back. I think the sevens and the eights I had in fade to black. The Freddy Krueger dunks. Yeah, no, yeah, I can't get those. <laughs> what the... The Golf Dunk Low Black. Well, I'm not getting those. Um, yeah, the Supreme the Supreme Dunk suck. The, the new ones, the Red Toes. Jacob Starr calls them something. I think it's hilarious, but... I'm not going to call them that. Okay. Um, got the Hennessy's. Got the Purple Lobsters. Elias, thank you so much for the donation. Watching here in Finland at 228. You're wild, man. You're crazy. I couldn't stay up that late. Uh, let's see what else. Purple Lobsters is sick. Oh, I have some friends that have the what the... Actually, SB Mitch and Edwin, the son of some man, both have the what the dunks. Or he used to have them. I don't know if Edwin still has them. Shout out to Edwin, by the way, guys. Check out his channel. And SB Mitch. Um, the Walk the Dogs are sick. I really like those a lot. Green Lobsters are sick. <laughs> There's so many good dunks, but dunks that like, I can't just drop that kind of money on. Let's see what else. Um... Newcastle Brown Ales are sick. They do a lot of like beer themed ones. They got the Heinekens. Um, what else we got? The Chairman. I love the Chairman Bows. I don't know why I've always liked the Chairman Bows, but I love them. Love them. Get those prison showers. Yikes. Um, the Safaris are cool. I just. I don't like them enough to grab them, to be honest with you. Like, if you guys really want to see a review, I could do it, but. I really like the panda pigeons. I don't know why I didn't pull the trigger on those. Oh, here we go. The Paras. These are the ones I was looking for. These are sick. Now we're talking for a size 9. 390. That's a lot. That's a lot of money. And it just refreshed the page. That's so annoying. Um, let's go to Dunks on StockX. Someone was saying something about the Dior ones. Yeah, I think they're getting pushed back. Um, Nike Dunk. Unfortunately. Unfortunately. Should I get like a thumbnail? I should probably get a thumbnail pose. I'll do it afterwards. That's just too cringy. Dench, thank you so much. I'm about to buy a pair of off-white off -white Prestos and I'm not really familiar with the sizes. How do they fit? Um, well, you, I think they only come in full sizes. And they fit. I'm a size 9 and I got a size 9. It fits me great. I think it depends on what size you are. I'd say go as close. To, I think I would go true to size if you can. If you can't. Where's my pair? Here it is. Perfect, I can just try it on and show you. So I wear my pair unlaced, and I think it fits pretty much. Yeah, it's a true to size. So I don't know if you like it. I don't know if I'd go down. I would probably go up, but it's tough. But I don't know. If you can go true to size, I would. I love this pair too. Also, the glue is yellowing on it, which kind of sucks, but it is what it is. Okay, what else we got? New Balance 997 Kith non-native. I like that shoe a lot too. I mean, I should get a bunch of new balances. That'd be kind of cool. Okay, so dunks. Here we go. StockX dunks. Most popular dunks. We got the Safaris. We got the Syracuse. We got the Travis Scott. I got rid of my Travis Scott, so I'm going to be real with you guys. 
I just didn't like him enough to keep him. Um, that's actually the reason I have money on. That's the reason I have this goat money because I got rid of the Travis Scotts. Um, you got that Paris SB Dunk Lowe's. I don't know, guys. I do like the Red Pair a lot. But $400 a lot? I never wear the Green Pair, so I don't know. Oh, man, the internet's trash right now. This is so crappy. So crappy. I don't know what kind of accent that was, but... Damn. It's like complete trash right now. This is crazy. I'm glad the stream is still going. That's probably why it's trash, because the stream is taking it out. Um, there we go. Let me go to StockX and see upcoming releases. Maybe there's something there. This is like not very fruitful. Hmm. No, it's disgusting. It's aloe. And because it's aloe, it's got like these little aloe chunks in it. And that was gross. I'm sorry you guys had to see that. Dang, man. The New Balance 872s are sick. New Balance, if you're watching, if you guys want to send me one of those, that'd be cool. That'd be real cool. It'd be cooler if you did. <laughs> what else we got? Okay, you know what? Screw it. I'm buying the Syracuse's. I'm buying the Syracuse's right now. What's happening? I'm just buying them. Copping the Syracuse's in a size 9 instant ship so we get these boys quick. Well, here's the question, right? If I buy the Syracuse's, I won't have enough to buy any, like, $1,000 shoes. Which I shouldn't be buying anyway. Jordan might kill me if she finds out, but it's all business expenses, so... <laughs> That's how I get away with it. Um, <laughs> with the misses. Um, please, if you're watching this, Jordan, I'm sorry. I didn't mean it like that. <laughs> I'm kidding. Um... No, but in all seriousness, let's see what else there is. Uh, we've got... Man, I don't I don't know. I think I should just... I think... You know what? Screw it. I think I'm just going to buy the Syracuses. You know what I could do? I could get the Syracuses. I could get the Blazer Mid Dunks. I got these two. I could get... Ooh, the David Bowie Vans. I forgot about those. Those are sick. I like those a lot. Mmm... These are going for... Almost a hundred dollars more. Almost a hundred dollars more with instant ship. It's probably not worth it. Um, what do you guys think? What do you guys think? Give me some the diamond dunks. I really want the diamond dunk. Um, the highs, but there's like a lot. They're like eight hundred bucks for some reason now, which is crazy. Um, Chris says hold off, Seth. Fair enough. Fair enough. Damn, I just want to get something dope, you guys. I want to get something dope for you guys. Well, obviously for me, but like <laughs> for a dope video. And I feel like if I bought like a bunch of cheaper shoes, that'd be fun to watch and box. Uh, do you like the Nike Future Flight, please? My 12-year-old son, Diesel, is a huge fan of you. Thank you so much, Jonathan. Diesel, thank you so much for watching, man. I really appreciate that. You're the man. You are the man. You and Jonathan both. I love you guys. Seriously, thank you so much for watching. Um, let's see. What about the Travis Scott AF1s? I've always kind of wanted them. God, this is like such a first world problem, isn't it? Strange Love SPs are dope, but they're expensive. Finley, thank you so much. What's the fit on the nylon Sakai's? Now, thank you so much for the donation. I really appreciate that. Now, I will say that the pair that I had, um, or have, is not my size. It's a size 10, so I can't give you an exact fit. Now, the pair of the regular ones that I had fit true to size. I don't know about the nylons. Um, who, who did a video on that? I would, I would YouTube videos on those, because I don't want to give you any advice that I don't know for sure on, but thank you for the donation. I wish I could give you, the, I wish I could give you a good answer, but I just can't. I don't want to steer you wrong. Um, size 9, 900 for the instant ship. That's crazy. That is crazy. Earth Day Forces. Oh, I can't think of those. Jacob, thank you so much for the donation. I really appreciate that. Dunks are hot right now. Spend it all on dunks into a huge dunk video. Ugh, that's the move, right? That's what I should do, right? And then if I don't want them, I can get rid of the ones that I don't want. Thank you so much for the donation, by the way, Jacob. That's That's awesome. Thank you so much for that. You're the man. You're the man. Uh, maybe that's what I'll do. Okay, so here's what we'll do. First dunk get, that I'm most likely going to get, Syracuse. That's pretty much done, right? Next up, I could do the safaris. Oh, we got to do some math now. Here's math time, okay? So, <laughs> safari, I, I would do instant ship too so that I could get this video out ASAP. Problem is instant ship's more expensive. It's like $100 more. Uh, it sucks. I could not do instant ship and save money. 
but then it would be a minute before I got them because like no one's going to the post office right now or UPS or all sort of stuff. And Syracuse is only twenty dollars more for instant ship. Excuse me. Second Nigel Jordan, I didn't even know about that. Oh, the white one, I do know about that one. All right, I am from Portugal. Are you going to Portugal to buy sneakers? We we. We here don't have much. Uh, no, I'd be going over to work on some other projects. Wink, wink. So stay tuned for that. If if and when, well, when the travel restrictions lift and things kind of get back to normal. Um, Jens, thank you so much for the five DKK. Is that from... Someone from Uganda had one that I don't... I don't know if this is the same currency or not, but thank you so much for the donation, by the way. Um, let's see. I could go with... I like these blue ones that much. I like the red ones. The red boys. Hmm. Hmm. Why are you not clock collabs, Air Force One? Those are sick. Lobster dunks are dope. Expensive, though. Hmm. Jordan 1 Yacht Club. The, I mean, not Jordan 1. The Vans Yacht Club. Man, they're cheap right now. These are... Apparently, this is one of the best-selling sneakers at Stadium Goods. I had no idea. I don't know why. They're fine. Not good enough to be a bestseller, though. I'm going to be real with you. I don't know why they're the bestseller at Stadium Goods, but apparently they are. So it's wild, but... Okay, let's see. What else we got? Um, man, usually sneaker shopping isn't so stressful. I'm surprised by how stressed I am right now. <laughs> this is crazy. Okay. Uh... Eh, Get some. The Black History Month Air, uh, Air Force One lows are dope. The, um, some Yeezys. Mm. Matthew Rosas, thank you so much. Do the Syracuse come with any other laces? Not that I know of, but I haven't seen a parent person yet, so I'm not sure. But thank you so much for the donation, by the way. It's awesome. Thank you so much for that. Uh, Desmond Estrada, Complex just posted the Blue Oat 380s video. Did they really? Thank you so much for the donation, by the way. Let's watch it. Hopefully, Complex doesn't try any funny business. That's watching. Well, it's not their video. So. Oh, I think I have to go complex sneakers. I'm from Denmark. I love your work. Thank you so much, Jens. I appreciate that. Cordegard, thank you so much, Jens. That's I love you, man. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Um Nerd Souls BJ says, "Love the channel. I'm watching from Wisconsin. Thoughts on the dunks with the shark swoosh? I like those a lot. The shark. I forget which uh, skater it is, but I like that shoe a lot. Um, damn, where's this video at? It's making mass help. That's cool that New Balance is doing that. Oh, the the, the change name to the blue oat instead of the blorfs. Blorfs. That's good. That was a reflective one too. My mind is changing. It's getting there. Mid May." I would definitely cop these for a review. TDC, I don't know where this video is though. Again, I, I don't know if I want to play it just because I don't want this whole this whole thing to be um, kind of screwed. This whole video, the uh, the blue Fury SB Dunk Lows dropping next week, so they drop on April first. So have they not? Have they already? Hold up. If these haven't dropped, I'd cop them. I thought that. Is there like an older pair of blue Furies? Come on. Here we go. Do they have any instant shit pairs? No. Damn. That would be a pair I'd definitely get for a review. Copper ray guns. Ray guns are cool. I only buy fakes from Wyatt. Nike Air Max Plus review, please. Thoughts on the Paris Jordan 1 low? I do like the Paris Jordan 1 lows. Um, guys, if you haven't hit that like button yet, make sure to hit it. Also, if you guys want to watch some content of mine that is not sneakers, make sure to click the link at the top of the description because that is my unboxing channel where I unbox everything. Mainly tech, so not everything, but also the name of it kind of sucks. It's just sad. I couldn't, really couldn't think of anything better. But opinion on bootleg Chinatown Market Converse? I haven't actually seen that. Thank you for the donation, by the way. Um, I think it's let's find it. Let's see it. Whoa! From hold on, Slickback MN. Thank you for the UGX ten thousand. 
this is definitely not just a first world problem because um, because you and my friends and I are experiencing complicated cho- complicated choices in East Africa. Hope you end up on this side. Uh, have you a mini fan base here? I would. You have a mini fan base here. I'd love to stop by there. I, seriously, I'd love to go to Africa. I've never been. I've always wanted to go. I'd love to go. I would love to go. Thank you so much for the donation, by the way. Seriously, thank you so much. That's awesome. You're awesome. Um, do you have any suggestions of sneakers that I should get today? Let me know. Seriously, thank you for that donation, by the way, too, man. I really appreciate that. And and if I ever come, if I ever come through, shoot me a. If I ever announce that I'm going over there, shoot me an Instagram message. We'll try and link up. You should design off white SF. We are underdogs. That's not a bad idea, Deborah. Appreciate that. Um, okay, power dunks are do- okay. Here's what, okay. I wish I could just put things in the cart. That would make things so much easier. Power dunks. Para dunk. Let's see. Two seventy. Syed Abdul Rahman, don't insta ship, just be patient, we'd wait for you. Suggestion Strange Love, Cactus Jack AF1, my two personal favorites, love from Singapore. Thank you so much for the donation, by the way. I love Singapore. I have a lot of family in Malaysia, and one of them works in Singapore, so he drives over the border uh, every day. Um, hope you guys are doing well down there. Uh, thank you so much for the donation again. And you're probably right about that, but it might be like two weeks. And to be real, I'm kind of out of content. <laughs> so I might. It's not that bad. It's 400. I don't know, guys. Panda dunks are sick. Okay, so I'll leave. I'll leave. I'm gonna leave these links open. Actually, that's how we're gonna do it. Go. We're gonna leave up the links. I'm so stupid. <laughs> what the hell? Um, I just googled goats. The panda dunks are sick, but I think I missed the boat on those because they're too expensive now. Panda, panda, panda. Where are the regular ones? Laser etched on. I just want regular ones. Seven fifty. Whoa! Yikes! Holy crap! I should have bought these last year. <laughs> I should have bought those forever ago. That's off the list, unfortunately. Tech Fowler is actually a good name for the other channel. This is right. It's not a bad name at all. Uh, so these guys. This is. I mean, this is happening. I think. We'll see that one up, and then goat.com. I'm not going to Google goat again. Air Jordan 60 MP. I considered it. I really did. But I just... A lot of other people have already done reviews. And once everybody, everybody's already done a review, my opinion is not going to be that important. Because you can watch everyone else's opinions. And honestly, a lot of people do it better. So... <laughs> um, keep the safaris up, too. This one is... That's that's tough for instant ship. That's a lot for instant ship. I don't know if... I don't know if I'd want to do that. Um, it's like $100 more. And it's just like, oh, it's just like... That's just a waste of money at that point. But, then again, for the video, I don't know. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, okay, so para, what would that be? Four plus, um, let's say, how much is it? 270, so it's four plus 270, at 670 plus four. That's basically the thousand right there. That's a lot. Uh, yeah, I probably wouldn't want to do instant ship if that was the case. I just, like, really need a video. <laughs> oh, man. I think I should just go ahead and buy the Syracuses regardless, because I think I'm going to buy them regardless. Maybe what I do is I buy the Syracuses. I wouldn't do a full review, because there's a lot of reviews already out. And then I'd use the credit for um, other sneakers. Maybe I buy the Syracuses and get, like, a dunk, too. Not a dunk, um, a blazer. Maybe I get the, the Yeezy Earths. Not terrible. 300 bucks. Um, I could get the Syracuses and the Kentuckys. Um, what else? What else we got? We got, oh, Bread Forest. I don't have a pair of those. I should have gotten a pair of those, but I didn't get a pair of those. Um, what else we got? What else we got? Why is the app so much better than their website? I don't understand it. Mildy Ashanis, those are cool. I do like those. Um, hmm. Hmm. Maybe I should just grab some off white. That would get views. <laughs> if all I was going for was views, then I would just buy something off white. Something I didn't even care about. But that's not what we're about here on this channel. We're about good content. 
Did I miss a donation? I feel like I did because the number went up on the side. Oh, here we go. Yeah, I did. Um, ben Zhu, thank you so much for the uh, the $5. Hello, hi, hello. Or hi, Seth. Hello from New Zealand. Love your work, and I've been watching all your vids. Keep it up in your opinion. Dunk Strange Love or Travis. You're right. You're right. I do like those shoes. You're right. Ben, thank you so much for that. You're the man, and I think you're right. I think that's the move. Because I don't even want, I don't even really want the Safaris. Okay, let's look up. Let's pull up the Travis AF1s. I wonder if I can get a pair of used, too. That would actually be the move, right? That would be the... Here we go. Uh, let's see. 390. Instant ship is almost $100 more. Yikes. Uh, let's see. Okay, so Syracuse, we're leaving those up. And then the Strange Loves. These are also dope. Again, though, I, this one I wouldn't do instant ship because it's expensive. Expensive. It's nine hundred dollars. <laughs> That's just because no one. This, so instant, the way instant ship works is instant ship is usually through um, Flight Club. Like it's usually in their store or they or Goat has a storehouse I think or a warehouse that they keep shoes in. And because everything's been closed down, I don't think they can do it. Um, Earth Day Air Forces. Why do I keep... I keep seeing that and I never check it out. I'm stupid. Let's do it. Earth Day Air Force. Oh, these guys. Steve Harrington's. I forgot about these boys. <laughs> I forgot about these guys. These are wild. I do have a Steve Harrington sculpture from SneakerCon. They're nuts, man. They are nuts. Go for the Jordan 1 Mid Milan and the Jordan 1... Ooh, you know what? I do like the Mid Milans. Is that a women's only shoe? These are actually fire. Ball you. What do you guys think about these? That's a good call. Who said that? Uh, John Carlos. That's a good call. That is a good call. Hold up. I like the strange loves, but I'm trying to do instant ship. Come on. Wow. I'm get wow. Okay. Hold up. Okay. So eclectic relaxation. Thank you again. Vid, rank album cover Yeezys from, Yeezys from Soul Collector. Is that what you mean? Rank album cover Yeezys from Soul Collector. Let me screenshot that too, just so I don't forget it. Um, I, I'm not exactly 100% sure what you mean, but I don't want... You donated so much. <laughs> I don't want to forget your... Thank you so much, by the way. Seriously, it's awesome. Thank you so much. And Samuel M. Hello, Seth. Another viewer from New Zealand. That's awesome. Thank you so much. If I were to sell my Off-White Jordan 5s, would you recommend using Goat or StockX? Or are there any other methods you prefer? I use both. I use both. And the way that I do it is I go based off which one's going to give me the better price. And I usually do, I sell to the highest bid. I don't usually let them sit too long. I would suggest letting them sit if the highest bid is not what you're looking for. But go wherever you can get the most money for them, honestly. Because they're both pretty similar. And they're both going to they're both gonna pay you. So I wouldn't worry about it. Um, they both have slightly different commission rates, I think. I've sold a lot on StockX. So my commission rates are lower on StockX. But I'm trying to get my, um, my rates up there on GOAT. So I'm selling more on GOAT right now. But... Ravens fan, you worked in Randallstown before too. That's awesome, John Miko Miller. Yo, so I used to live in Windsor Mill, just outside Randallstown. Like I, everything I did was in Randallstown. Uh, my all my best friends lived in Randallstown. Uh, one of them, two of them. Um, I was I used to go to the Randallstown uh, library. It wasn't it was, the, it was the Baltimore County Library, right next to. I don't know if you know this area very well. It was next to. Um, there was a big hospital there, Randallstown Hospital. I don't know what the name of it was. Big hospital. There was a, there's an Aldi there now. There was a GameStop. There was a laundromat. It was right on Liberty Road. I, I didn't live on Liberty Road, but that's where I would spend a lot of my time. Um, I missed a note. Slickback MN, thank you so much. Yes, please, with the Cactus Jacks. Ah, shit, should I just do it? How much are these Milans at? How much? I love these Milans. These are sick. These are really, really cool. Damn, why are they so expensive? Damn, 300 bucks? That's a lot of money. You know what? I think I'm just going to do it. I think I'm going to go for the Syracuses, and I think I'm going to go for the Air Force One Lows. I love these Milans, though. I really like these Milans. It just... Yeezy Al I know, I know, I know. I should be getting the Yeezy Alvis, honestly. Like, as much as I don't like... I don't love them... But the problem is, is no one has them yet. Unfortunately. Unfortunately, unfortunately. Jordan 5 Easter. I oh, the splatter print ones. They're all right. Not my thing. Guys, I think I'm going to have to uh, start winding down the stream because I'm starting to lose my voice. 
<laughs> but I really appreciate it, guys. I do have a Citrus Cell video coming tomorrow. So just to, here, here's what I'm going to do. Before I end it, I'm going to buy them. So that you guys, so we get some closure on this, right? So I'm going to buy the, um, yes, he did. My fiance just texted me. Um, and asked me if my dog ate, and he did. Um, <laughs> uh, okay, so what I was going to say was, I'm going to get the, what was I talking about? Okay, okay, for closure, yes. So I'm going to buy these right now. I'm going to get the Syracuses. I'm going to cop those first because they're dope and they're not that expensive. Um, so I'm going to cop these right now. I'm not going to show you guys my info, but I'm going to show you guys me copping them. Is there a way for me to show you guys without... Next, here we go. Instant ship. Is there next day? What? There's no next day? What? Hold up. Hold up. What are your first sneakers you should get in your collection? Uh, oh, there's a lot of them. There's a lot of good sneakers. I would go with Jordan 1s, me personally. Damn, okay, hold up. So, Instant Ship. But they don't have Next Day on the pair that I want. They only have four to six business days. I usually go Next Day. Here, let me see if the Travis's they have Next Day. Maybe just Goat is not doing Next Day, in which case, then I should just... I meant rank... Oh, album cover Yeezys on Soul Collector. That's a good call. That's a good call. Eclectic Relaxation, thank you so much. That is a good call. I thought you meant Jeezy. <laughs> but that's a good call. I have it I have it saved in my phone, so I know what you're talking about. Thank you so much, man, for the for both donations. All the donations, by the way. I appreciate that. Okay, so can I get these? No, none of them are doing next day. Damn. Damn. Hmm. I guess goat is just having issues. Well, then in that case, that changes everything now, right? <sighs> Damn it. So, got first world problems for real. Um, let's check out stadium goods. I'll see. I haven't checked them out yet. God, I thought I was gonna end the stream, but now I'm just getting deeper into the rabbit hole, and it's rough. Um. Damn. Well, that changes because because instant ship was such a big part. Of why I was gonna get this. I did want the Syracuses and I did want the AF ones, but wow, this, my picture's so big. Uh, okay, let's see. Okay, they don't even have a size nine. Um, I just want the Syracuses in general. Here, let me try another sneaker. Let me see if there's another sneaker that has next day instant ship. I'm not gonna buy it. I just want to see if if it's just all of Goat is doing this or if it's like let me try the Mist non reflective. Do they have next day? They do have next day. So some of them aren't in store. So a lot of these just... Damn. I guess because they, they had a sale a couple of days ago. I should have just used the... There was like this great sale on <laughs> these shoes. Oh, man. Okay. Um, here's what's up. I'm going to buy this. I'm going to buy the um, Syracuse's right now. That's happening. I'm just going to cop them instant ship. It's not that expensive. I'm just going to do it. So... I wish there was next day. There isn't, which is really annoying. And I'm copping them. So here we go. The Dunklo SP. SP. Okay, well. Uh, Syracuse. Copping right now. Done. Copped. The Syracuses are copped. Okay, so next question is, do I go ahead with the Air Force Ones? Or do I buy them and then just do like two separate videos? Because the regular pair is a hundred dollars cheaper. Buy me some. You know what? I, I kind of I'm gonna be honest with you guys. I kind of want to get the um the the Jordan One lows or the mids. Sorry, the mids. The um, Milans. I really like these a lot. They are, they're a little bit feminine because I got that pink in there. Nothing wrong with that. Um, here are they next day. When did these dropped a while ago, right? You know what's funny? I saw I saw someone in uh, David Dobrik's vlogs buying these. I think it was that, that one girl. I don't remember. In Corinna, I think. She got a pair of these. Are they next day? They are next day. I could get these tomorrow. Oof. Because it is an SB, which stands for Special Project. Gotcha. Thank you, Ethan. See, I'm not an SB or a dunk yet, but I really appreciate that. You're the man. Um, don't buy the Travis. No AF1. Damn. You guys are opinionated. Do you like the Old Spice SB collab? Let's see it. I've never seen this before. 
How old is this? It's nice. It's subtle. It is subtle. Very nice. Oh, shoot. Who is this? I don't know this YouTube reviewer. Is this an old school review from like years ago? August 2013. SK Suicide. Damn, I'm going to give him a like. Oh, oh, I'm not signed in. Damn. Well, that's cool. Um, Paris Lowe's. You guys think I should get the Paris Lowe's? I do really like these Milan mids, man. I'm going to be real with you. I like these Milan mids a lot. Let's see these Paris Lowe's. I actually, oh, I forgot about the Paris Lowe's. I don't have any Air Jordan 1 Lowe's at the minute. Man, I really meant to end this stream, but this just isn't happening. <laughs> uh, these are okay. And they're not that expensive. Size 9, 2, 6. Oh, they don't have instant ship, though. I'd have to wait. God, I'm so impatient. Uh, the New Balance 99 Kennedys. I, you know who did a video on them? Uh, Fomer. Fomer did them. Buy the Travis AF1s. You should get the Blazers and the Nike P9000s. Thanks for keeping up with the positive content. Thank you so much, Ben. I appreciate that. Ooh, should I get the Milans? Guys, I don't know. Maybe here's what I'm going to do. And this might be a cop-out. This is a cop-out. Tell me if it's a cop-out. I bought the Syracuse's already, right? Those are purchased. Now, the question is, do I decide what to get now and tell you guys? Or do I wait and make it a surprise for the unboxing? See, I don't know what to do. Alex, thank you for the donation. I really appreciate that, man. Thank you so much. That's really cool. Let's... What do you guys think? Should it be a surprise? Jeff Staple. I love the Jeff Staple dunks, but I can't afford them. Now, I mean, I I could, but it would just like get rid of all the credit. It would. I already. I mean, I already spent three hundred of it on um on this on the Syracuse's. What do you think about the KD thirteens? I do like the KD thirteens. I do like them a lot. Oh man, do I get the mids? I could do next day. Here, hold up. I want to check something really quick. I'm gonna do what I, I you I always uh, wow I always use Google Trends to see if something's gonna do well video wise and it sucks that me buying shoes sometimes has to resort to this um but sometimes it's necessary oh man damn it's so much like the Milans and I think I might still cop them I don't know surprise you guys want a surprise. Now? <laughs> Some people are saying, surprise, wait, tell us now. Damn, surprise. I don't know what to do, guys. Ooh, it's tough, it's tough, it's tough. Oh, oh, we got a donation from the man, Slickback MN. Thank you again, dude. Thank you again for all these donation donations, man. This is crazy. Surprise? You're saying surprise? Jordan 1 Racer Blues from J Boston. Thank you again for the donation, man. Thank you so much. I think, damn, surprise, isn't it? Who won the so the whoever uh, the guy who won the the Yeezy um, three eighty or not aliens uh, the mists I put that I put his name and it was randomly selected through Instagram and I put his name on the community tab which you can check right now it's still up Twitter and then also Instagram stories wait 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 now wait 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 now <laughs> um damn I don't know what to do okay okay well I've almost been streaming for two hours at this point which is far too long so the stream is not going to go longer than two hours we're at an hour and 47 seconds it's 47 minutes so if it's not decided by then it will be a surprise hopefully it will be decided before then so it's not a surprise this is so tough man it's the problem is like if there was a shoe that i really wanted this would be easy it'd be over i wouldn't even have to do a stream about it i was i would have bought it like it would have been easy right but now it's like there's a lot of shoes that i want and some that i i really want but i don't want to like Please recognize me. 100,000 subscribers in the video. There's a lot of people who do that, don't they? Try copying Syracuse off SneakerCon. Maybe they have instant ship. I actually should have done that. I don't know why I didn't. I don't know if I have the app on my phone right now. Let's see. Mm. Now, man, it's like 50-50 on the now and surprise, right? Sky, how do AJ1s fit? I'm a size 9 and a half in Yeezys and a size 9 in Vans. I'd go size 9. I'd go size nine. I'm a size nine personally. Thank you again. Thank you for the donation, by the way. I would go size nine. For me, I would go true to size. Um, I'm assuming you're a true to size nine because you're a size nine in Vans and a size nine and a half in Yeezys. 
I would assume you're a nine, but it's been, I would go, just go true to size. If you're a nine and a half, go nine and a half, but I'd go true to size. Now, a lot of people are saying now. Oh, shoot, okay. Um, shoot. Damn, why is it so difficult? Why is it so difficult? Damn. What do you guys think? Milan's? How do you guys feel about the Milan's? Let your wife choose the shoe. That's a good call. Surprise now. Surprise. Oh, uh, man. Damn. One now. So the, the one now, we already we just bought it, right? We just bought the Syracuses. They're bought. They're purchased. These these guys are purchased. How do the Fear of God ones fit? Where are the, where are the, uh, where are the Milans going for on um, StockX? Milan. I don't know anybody who got the Milans, honestly, on YouTube. Man, they're not that expensive. It's 195. Oof. It came out a month ago? I didn't realize it came out that long ago. Milan, yes. Milan, Neon Jordan, Milan is dope. Okay, fine. We're getting the Milans. Buying them. Instant ship next day, boys. Should I do next day or should I do the four to six business days like the Syracuses? Oh, let's do next day. Let's just get out of the way. Cool. Size nine, Milan's copped. We did it, guys. We did it. It's done. It's been purchased. Milan's copped. So we're getting the Milan's and the Syracuses. And if I do feel wild, I might get something cheap. In addition to go with them. Oh, Sean Go did a review. Awesome. I love Sean Go. I'm surprised I missed that one. Guys, check out his review if you haven't yet. He's a, he's a really good dude. I like him a lot. Um, both as a person and as a reviewer, he's a really good guy. Um, surprises with Strange Loves. Travis Scott Air Force Ones and Milan's Ones. Thank you again for the donation, Saeed. I appreciate it. Oh, man. Well, you're going to get one of those. <laughs> maybe, th maybe there will be a third surprise. I don't know how much credit I have left, to be honest with you. <laughs> Damn, <laughs> I really did. Oh man, I really didn't check how much credit I have left. But guys, I think I'm gonna round up the stream at this point. Um, you guys are the best. I love you guys. You guys are so awesome. Let me switch back to non um, shoe view to unboxing cam view. Guys, thank you so much for tuning in today. I'm looking at the wrong camera. Guys, thank you so much for tuning in today. It really means the world to me that you guys are here. Uh, the, those of you who donated, seriously, thank you guys so much. That was unnecessary, and you guys are super generous, and I really appreciate you guys for that. Um, make sure to stay tuned, because tomorrow I'm dropping a Sitter Cell video, if everything goes well. And uh, if you guys want to see more content that's not sneaker-related, make sure to click that link at the top of the description. That's my second channel, which is a tech channel slash unboxing channel. It's a lot of fun. Um, guys, also, pre-orders are still open for these guys for a little bit longer, so make sure to stay tuned for these if you want these. They are now in a size 12 and a half and a size 13. No, uh, Jay Boston, thank you for the donation you said. Nobody has a new laps on a hammer sock. And I don't know if it's shipped yet for anybody who bought it. I could be wrong. Um, it's dope, though. I really do like it a lot. But guys, I love you guys so much. Thank you guys so much for watching. You guys are the absolute best. Um, seriously, even though I've been doing a video every day and it's been very tiring, it's been absolutely worth it because the feedback you guys give me, it's just, it's amazing. So thank you guys so much. I really hope you guys have a great rest of the day and, uh, stay safe. Definitely. So love you guys.